You guys have sent me great ideas over the years, and I haven't done a good job of sharing those. So today I'm going to make amends and share a few, at least some of the ones I was able to go back and find. And going forward, I'm going to come up with a better way to capture your ideas and tips so that I can pass them on. I'll put the pertinent information in the description box below this video. And remember, if you don't know where the description box is, you have to hit the show more on a laptop or desktop. And on a mobile device, you hit that little tiny arrow, it looks like an arrow, an incomplete arrow, in the upper right hand corner just below the video. I'm not going to use last names, so I'll just use first names on this. And the first one is Doug. Doug has been following this channel for probably almost since the beginning, and he has sent quite a few tips to me over the years. We both replaced our compressor fridges at the same time. He showed me how to install the Victron battery monitor. He made this really nice 3D printed soap sponge holder for the van, which I really like. I've had several people ask me if he would make them for him, for them, but he's, he's too busy with his other work. Doug's first idea actually comes from his wife, who made the same warm window curtains that I had made on the channel. And she installed a flap over the window that, that louvered, not a louvered window, it's an awning window, the awning window that comes up. She made a flap so you can get ventilation through that window. Now we just roll ours up and it doesn't look as elegant, but I really like her idea and I hope to do that somewhere down the road. The second idea that he sent was for taking this access panel that is, uh, right behind it is the shutoff valve for the water heater, the Truma water heater. And um, so he actually put some hardware on it to turn it into a door so that when he winterizes, he has easy access to those valves. The next ideas come from Gary, and Gary is another longtime subscriber. And uh, the first one I'm gonna pass along is a mattress pad that he found to help protect your your sofa from pets and it it's actually for pets uh, but it, he said it fits the back of the sofa pretty well so I will have a link to that in the description box in fact all the things that I mentioned will be in the description box and I will put them by the name of the person who recommended them his second idea was really intriguing to me although I haven't been able to convince John to try it out he took a, a bin from I think he got it from Harbor Freight and he stores his, um, his sewer dump stuff in there, the small stuff, and then stores it under the van so it's not anywhere close to the inside of your van, but it also then frees up some space in our small rigs. He said he hasn't had any problems with it falling off. He uses a bungee cord. I think if I did that, I would want to be checking it all the time, so it might make me a little nervous. And then finally from Gary, uh, years ago, I had mentioned something about golf clubs, and someone wanted to know how to carry them. Now, he, he had come, he came up with some a solution. He has this big plastic case that they go into, and then he wedges it between his Hollywood rack and the spare tire and the back of the rig. So if any of you are interested in carrying your golf clubs, maybe something like that would work. The next tip comes from Helmut in Germany. And he has helped me with some problems I've had in the past trying to find things that were made in Europe. But I really appreciate his perspective because the Europeans have things that we don't have, including better taste <laughs> in decor. But he sent this, uh, he sent me a link to a video about water quality and this device that they use over in Europe that filters out, you know, all kinds of things, but it looked a little bit more robust than the, the thing that we use that we get at you know, Camping World or you order it online, that blue, I think it's Camco, is it a Camco device? Anyway, it looks much, much better. Looks like it filters out a lot more and I was not able to find it in the US but maybe eventually it will be here or if you have some way of ordering something from Europe, you might give that a try. I will put the video in there, although it is in German, and I will put a link to the product that he mentioned. Next is Jim, and Jim lives in Southern California. Jim also replaced his three-way refrigerator with uh, an isotherm, sent me pictures of it. His wife found a mattress cover that fits their, their, um, their bed. It's, I think it's the same one we have. And uh, she created some kind of, she sewed on a, like a hood that allows it to be draped over the back of the sofa so it holds in place. 
Jim and his wife also have electric bikes, and he wasn't happy with the seats that were on the that came with his bikes, and so he ordered some that he said are quite comfortable, and I will put a link to those seats below. Next is Kathy from Canada, and for so for those of you who sew, you might be interested in this idea. I actually started it. I ordered the pattern and started it, but I haven't finished. Uh, she bought a she got a bucket hat pattern and then purchased some mosquito netting and has made hats out of mosquito netting. She gets the, uh, the wind passes through the material, but the bugs don't. And I think that's a great idea. And as soon as I find a few extra minutes, I'm going to finish this project. The next is Kent, who saw the video that I did with Larry on his extension, uh, his pop-up extension for his kitchen cabinet. Uh, Kent did something a little bit different and he bought some poly, some of that high density polypropylene cutting board material and had it somehow molded it to the right shape of his kind of rounded kitchen area. And it looks beautiful. And so they have a little bit more counter space with this product. I um, will put all of his links below and any information that he gave me. Back to bedding again. Martha sent me a link to an electric blanket. It's a 12 volt electric blanket and the way they use it is when they are going to their destination, they turn it on. So while they're driving, it's heating up the, the fabric, the cushion, and their bedding. And then when they get there, they turn it off and can climb into a nice warm bed. So I know there are lots of tips and ideas that I did not find when I scoured my inbox, but please keep them coming. And I really promise you, I will do a better job of organizing them and being able to share those and pass those forward. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.